Hello YouTube, this is Christoph Bizok, we are back with another video for you guys. My name is Patrick. And my name is Emma and today we are going to talk about 5 common questions to expect in a job interview. We have been talking about the job interview, how you answer questions on job interview and the skills that a person needs to have when going for a job interview. We have talked this in, other, in our other videos. If you have not checked them, please make sure that you check them out. And today we are going to discuss in details about five common questions to expect in a job interview. So one of the questions you need to expect is, tell me about yourself. When discussing or when answering this question, you are supposed to talk about your background, your experience, and why you are interested in this position. Your experiences and your interests should be aligned in regards, in line with the job position that you want to apply. So you should focus on the relevant skills that can build your portfolio or the relevant skills that, that, that the interviewer will consider as good and relevant and, uh, and they, can, they can give you marks yeah. or, or a higher score uh, from, from other candidates. Yeah. So I think in this part, when they ask you to tell them about yourself, they don't want to like to know what shoes you like or which brand you like. Or where your, your grandmother came from. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they basically want to know about yourself, but in accordance to the position of the job they might offer you. Yeah. So it's necessary for you to talk about yourself but regarding the job. Yeah, keep yeah. keep you keep you uh, keep your answers in line with the questions that you have been asked, in line with the job position that you are applying for. Yeah. Then number two, the, another question that will pop up in most interviews is why do you want to work for our company? And this is why we had stated earlier that you need to research about the company before you go to the job interview. And when you get to research about the, the company, you get to understand their core values, their interests, their mission, their statement, their vision. And when you answer this question, why do you want to work for a company, you are able to demonstrate your research knowledge on the company where you are able to align your attributes to the company and the job position to the company and you are able to uh, side your skills to the mission of, or the vision of that company. Yeah. So at this point you have already researched about the company, mm -hmm. so if they ask, they ask you why you want to work with them, since you have already researched for, about the company, yeah. you can come up with a specific point that you discovered about the company. Yeah, an appeal that something yeah. that you liked about the company. Mm -hmm. Then you can use that and tell them, maybe I discovered in this particular area, mm -hmm. you have this and this. Yeah. And that's why um, I want to work with you so that I can maybe help in that department. Yeah. And then another question that will be common in the, in the interview is, what are your greatest strengths and weaknesses? And this, this is where you discuss the strengths that are relevant to the job position that you are applying for. So you give your strengths in regards or in relation to the job that you want to apply. So maybe if you are applying for a journalist, uh, to be a journalist, that is where you give my strength. I'm good at public speaking. Yeah, yeah. I'm, good at, I'm good at working with people. I'm good at this and this. Yeah. So you make sure that the, you align your, your strengths. Uh, to, the, to, the, to the job position that you are applying for. Yeah, yeah that is very well mm -hmm. So let's say you, are, you want to apply for a journalism mm -hmm. job mm -hmm. and they ask, you, they ask you about your strengths. Mm -hmm. Don't tell them that you are very good at selling shoes. Yeah, it is not in regards with the job position yeah, yeah. you are applying so for. So just, uh, just say things that relate to the journalism course. So and I think when you're talking about the weakness, mm -hmm. you're supposed to be honest. Yeah. But you are supposed to give, say that you have a solution to the weakness. Let's say it's still you are still applying for the job of the, the, being a journalist in a certain company or a TV station. Then, if you have a weakness in maybe public speaking, you can tell them, "I have a weakness in public speaking, but I'm doing this and this. Yeah, yeah. I am applying this and this strategy to overcome that weakness." Yeah, yeah. You can say maybe you are taking online classes about public speaking, mm -hmm. you are practicing at home, yeah. yeah. but don't say you have a problem in public speaking and then you are... You just tell them that. Yeah, yeah. so how are you going to solve the problem? Mm -hmm. yeah. And then the number four question that you find in most common, uh, that is common in most interviews is, tell me about a time when you faced a challenge and how you overcame it. So here they are looking about the problem solving skills. How are you able to 
come up with a solution when you're in a dilemma. And we had talked earlier in our previous video yeah. that this, that is one of the skills that an interviewer is going to look for. Yeah. And so that is where you find yourself, you find they are asking this question about a problem solving situation that you ever have encountered. Yeah. You have encountered a problem mm -hmm. and of course you came up with a solution. Yeah. That doesn't mean that every time you face a, sol a problem you don't have a sol solution. Yeah. So that the situation that you give to the interviewer mm -hmm. and explain to them how you solve the problem and how it can arise and you can help solve the problem in their company. Yeah. Then one another question that you find in a job interview is what are your long term career goals? Yeah. So when they ask, this is actually a very tricky question. Yeah. So because in, when you answer in this question, you need to align, show your ambition and career, but still maintain your relevance to the company. And that is when you come up and talk about how you have identified something in the company that will help you grow your career. Yeah. yeah. And this also comes up to the where you need to research about the company. Mm -hmm. You can research the company and see that they have a maybe a specific problem. Yeah. And then you can you can tell them about your long term goals and decide that you can say maybe from a young age mm -hmm. or in college you, you are determined yeah. to solve a problem mm -hmm. maybe in that particular area. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that is where we well, what comes in handy is when why are you applying for this job? So that you can grow your career. Yeah. And that is how you show that me applying for this job will help me advance my career. Yeah. So that is it from us, guys. And I hope the tips we have given you or the five common questions that you, that you, you can expect in a job interview will help you when you apply for a job interview. And if you have ever applied for a job interview, you can tell us more or you can tell us which kind of other questions are asked in a job interview and we will help you to answer these kind of questions. So as you apply for that job, you are going to be lucky and these tips will come in handy. And it's, and it's until next time, goodbye. And make sure before you leave that you like, comment and subscribe. Hit on the notification button so that every time I upload a new video, you can be notified. We also have some courses in this, at Finstock University College that can help you with communication skills which are very much required in answering interview questions. Mm -hmm. So it's very good for you to visit our website college and look for some courses that can help you to apply for any job. Until next time.